Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and we're on Virgo. Alrighty Virgos, let's see what spirit has to say to you for this week. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for Virgos, what do they need to hear and know for this week? Messages for Virgos, what do they need to hear? Okay, and no, that was a lot. For this week, I'm going to take the first three off the top and put the rest back. <clears throat> okay. So there's a feeling here that you may need to have strength to get through something. Okay. Some of you may be very bored with how things are going in your life. <clears throat> this could be with your love life or this could be just with family or career, your finances, or maybe you haven't traveled in, the, in a while. Maybe you haven't done some things in a while, but there's something is, that's making you feel like you're not fulfilled. Um, this week, you may be wanting to do more with your life, wanting something exciting to happen. We do have discontent and boredom here. We do have spiritual strength here. And then we have destiny. OK, so you may be thinking a lot about your future and what you want to change, what you want to do. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the three of swords, uh, heartache and loss. This card is the three of swords in traditional tarot. Behind that is patience and planning. So you could be planning, OK, to cooperate with someone, to work with someone. Maybe someone is helping you to do something, to get out of a situation, to move from a home or get out of a marriage or something like that. Um, you will have victory and be able to uh, have your passions be ignited. You'll, I feel like you'll get what you desire, um, but you may have to break someone's heart or you may have to cause some type of heartache or loss for another person, or this may be difficult for you to do, of course. Uh, change is never easy. So let me see. Let's clarify this energy. Tell me more about this energy for Virgos, please. Tell me more about this energy for Virgos. Tell me more about this energy for Virgos. Why is discontent and boredom here? The magician, spiritual strength. We have the five of wands. And why is destiny here? Yeah, the eight of swords. You may be afraid. Like if you left um, someone, if, if you're planning on leaving someone, or if you've already left, you may be afraid of what the future holds. It's like, I don't know what's out there for me. I don't know who's out there for me. I don't really trust people anymore. Uh, some of you may have a, a problem with trusting or you're just all in your head about your future. Um, some of you are definitely manifesting, okay, with that magician energy here, Gemini energy. You're manifesting. Like I said, you may be bored at home and it's like, I need... I need some excitement. Discontent and boredom is here. So it's like, I need to manifest something. I need to create something. Some of you um, may decide to go back to school or may decide to start manifesting, getting a new home or a new job, something like that. Um, you're in the mode to create something different uh, than what your circumstance has been. With spiritual strength, it has the five of wands to clarify it. So you're going to have to be strong because you may have a lot of people uh, coming at you, a lot of different opinions. A lot of people have something to say uh, with the five of wands energy, could be family, friends, coworkers, um, just a lot of conflicting energy going on uh, possibly within yourself of you not really knowing what to do or what path to take when it comes to your destiny. Okay. You may be a little bit afraid with the eight of swords energy. Um, as I stated earlier, but at the bottom of the deck, I feel like spirit is saying, have hope with the star card. The star brings hope. Yeah. Because someone may, uh, come to help you with the emperor. This could be a judge. This could be a lawyer. Um, this could be someone in court. This could be someone with great authority or power coming to help. So it's like spirit is saying, have hope. Don't give up. Um, someone could be wanting to heal something with a husband or a significant other, a partner, someone who has Aries energy, emperor status energy. Yeah. Queen of wands. This could definitely 
have to do with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or someone who's just uh, embodying the energy of a fire sign. Yeah, definitely with court. Some of you could be fighting someone in court um, and you're working with a lawyer or a judge. That's what I see right here uh, with the justice card. Definitely some of you, oh yeah, with the har font. <laughs> Some of you are in court. You could be battling a significant other when it comes to the children, when it comes to marriage, property. Um, I feel like you may have wanted to give up in the past, but you're like, I cannot do this anymore. I have to manifest something new. I have to get out of this situation. And you may have felt stuck for a long time, but I feel like you are in court. Um, you could be going through some type of legal proceedings. Yeah, something may hit the fan. The ship may hit the fan with the tower coming out. There may be a shocking outcome. Yeah. And you may have more choices than you thought. Seven of cups. Okay. Some of you, the number seven may be significant as well, but I see a lot of things happening for you all this week. So what is the advice for Virgos this week? What is the advice for Virgos? What is the advice for Virgos this week? Let's see what the advice is. Look for a sign. Yeah, I feel like you need to look for a sign that someone is coming in to help you. Um, and you need to have a little bit of faith, a little bit of hope. Look for a sign. You may be, uh, may be getting a phone call, an email, a letter in the mail of good news or something coming in that will help to set you free from what you've been going through. Also at the bottom of the deck, improving health. So I feel like that's mental health where some of you have been mentally stressed out or going through a lot in your head, which is what the Eight of Swords stands for. Um, I feel like your mental health is going to improve this week or you may get good news that things are finally starting to turn around. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy for this week, Virgos. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you all. Take care and have a great week. Bye.